Hello, and welcome to Clinical Practice Bites. This is your quick review on how to set up a Pleurovac for chest drainage. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is get that drainage unit out of all of that packaging. And once you do, you're going to find a water container on the top of it. You're going to take that out and take the cap off, and you're going to go ahead and find the suction port. And that's where you're going to squirt the entire contents of the sterile water into the Pleurovac, and it's going to fill up the water seal chamber up to the 2 centimeter line. If you're using the floor stand, you can simply turn it to click it into place. Or if you're intending on hanging it from the bed, there are hooks on either side of the unit to be able to do that, but you do want to make sure that you locate it below the patient. Next, using a septic technique, you're going to want to make sure that the chest tube connection is as tight as possible, and then you're going to want to further secure that tube using waterproof tape. Once that's all done, you can assess the patency of your chest tube and drainage system by observing titling with each inspiration above the water seal chamber. And if your patient continues to have an air leak, you will notice intermittent bubbling in the water seal chamber. If suction is ordered, simply attach your suction tubing to the same port where you have the sterile fluid, and then turn up the suction regulator on the wall until there is sufficient suction to have the indicator cube float in the window. You can adjust the ordered suction level by simply turning this dial on the front of the unit. And a couple of final tips. Make sure your tubing is up on the bed so you don't end up with dependent loops. And always keep a pair of toothless clamps at the bedside as part of your safety equipment.